Yeah, just to kind of give a quick overview of this list, um, copied it from a 5.0 deck dump. A lot of cool stuff going on here. Some of these numbers are a little strange, like two, th two synthesizer, three voltage surge. Not sure on this, this like kind of stuff early. Um, the Planeswalker numbers are kind of weird too, like two Dress to Kill, one Torch Defiance. I feel like you'd want to play more Torches, but then again, you have a lot more four drops, so I understand the, the concept there. Um, getting to play Smashing as a land with Nykthos is like another huge payoff that also is just a land is really, really good for this deck. And then, uh, you know, I would say four of the cards you would expect, like Goblin, Emissary, Chain Whirler, Fanatic. This card's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's actually good, but it is two pips and it is utility, so I guess it makes sense. Cyborg, some cool stuff here. Uh, Leyland of Combustion, good against like the Rakdos deck that has a lot of removal. Outpost Siege for the grinding matchups, Kek W, you know, more removal, that kind of stuff, so. Cool list. <clears throat> I've seen Eidolon in this, this list before. Yeah, I guess we're replacing Eidolon with Amber Hauler. Also, no lands, by the way. Okay, this hand actually has two lands. No Nick those though. Not the best start here. I think I put back Glorybringer Fanatic. I think it's better off to keep this as a payoff than Fnatic. I don't think they're gonna ban it yet, maybe like in like a year. Yeah, 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 I'm not saying that they would consider banning it now. I'm just saying that maybe banning it is a possibility like after the RCQ season, you know what I mean? That's more so what I'm thinking. I agree with you, if they ban it, it'll definitely be, you know, way, way out, but. <sighs> Ever since they were temporarily removing Winona and banning her like a week later and convinced the arena team has no idea what's getting banned. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> Where they like, they, uh, you know, put Winona on, on strike or whatever and then they just ended up banning it two weeks later. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that's a good point. Probably need some more communication within the within the team. That's also a good point too. Uh, well, I guess we just go Emissary Torbrand because that gets them dead the quickest. So, let's do that. Uh, red, red. Deck you. <clears throat> Is this lethal next turn? Uh, 4, 8, 11. It's only 11. It's only 11, he says. Hmm. Worst draw in the deck. I mean, how likely is it I die next turn? Probably not terribly likely, right? Just a Lotus Field and nothing else. Clueless. Surely I can't die this turn. <clears throat> uh, okay. Combat. Can I attack you? <laughs> they just hope that I click through my combat step. Bro, do they actually have fog? There's no way I was gonna say there's no way they have fucking fog. If they had fog, I would just I would I would, you know. I agree, Otter. I think Torbrand's really underplayed. Is Leyland good against them? Whenever you and or at least one permanent you control begins to target a spell ability, it's two damage. So it's good against Basaju and Odawara. Probably a little too narrow, right? These cards are bad. <clears throat> really hoping you get, get to do the Den of the Bugbear trick when we have too much mana. Does that actually work? If you activate Den twice, can you do that? I would assume so, right? That's how Raging Ravine works, so. That's kind of cool. I've never actually had, the, I've never actually gotten the ability to do that, though. For Glorybringer seems ambitious. We're playing Nykthos, man. It'll, it'll be fine. We're playing Nykthos. It'll be fine. <sighs> Maybe I just want some Frostodons, because, like, all these other cards kind of suck. All right, let's go with that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's a win condition with infinite mana. Hmm. Sand seems a bit sus. Yeah, a bit sussy. Sussy Baka. 24 lands, by the way. Just saying. I mean, I guess... I think I put back... This and this, I guess? Sure. This sucks. <laughs> Multi five both games. I mean, I multi five game one and one, but... Does that have an infinite mana combo? No, it's just... I mean, Nykthos plus Burning Tree is basically infinite, right? Might as well be. Thoughts on the Grinning Ignis combo. I've been crushing it with crushing it with it in Explorer. Dude, somebody, I don't know if you saw this, but somebody top-aided the challenge with it. You guys see this deck list? 
It's uh, Togek, who's in chat sometimes, but they've been playing this deck a ton. And they finally top baited. Congratulations to them. This deck is so sweet. I haven't gotten to play it yet, though. Where'd it go? I thought they top baited. Did they not? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, look at this. This deck is so sweet. I gotta get to playing this at some point. Some devilish valet. Yeah, this deck is so sweet, dude. I wanna play it. Brother! My brother in Christ. Where are my spells? Where are my spells? Alright, surely game three I'll draw a reasonable proportion of lands and spells. Surely. I mean, I did bowl to five game one and my hand was still really good, but... This hand, not so much. Ooh, got him. Got him really good. <clears throat> Bet you didn't see that one coming. Taste it. But so many times by slamming the artifact, turn three and comboing off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good against, like, Shock and Bone Crusher Giant and, uh... <clears throat> Fiery Impulse that's not Spell Mastery. So... Also, the deck's, like, kind of just got a good plan B, right, with Coco. You just, like, Coco into Reef, draw a bunch of cards. Like, it seems like it's really good at, even if the combo gets broken up, it seems like it's really good at resetting up the combo. Between Reef and Company and Monument Looting, you know? It seems like you have a ton of ways to churn through your deck. Embercleave in here or Annex? Neither. We're choosing to play Glorybringer as our top-end threat, which may or may not be correct. I don't like um, Embercleave as much in this deck because there's not a lot of haste creatures, right? We're not playing like Swiss Spear or uh, the Flip and Champ and stuff like that, you know? I guess I do this. Well, probably going to get angered, but <laughs> a lot I can do about it. Could have made me attack first, but... Don't cast Anger of the Gods. Or kill me. Just copy Lotus Field and have six lands in hand. What's up, DevChat? How you doing, buddy? What is a Shivan Devastator? Shivan Devastator. Oh, that thing. That card's sweet. <clears throat> that card is so sweet. It's a mythic, right? Annex and Embercleave go very nicely together, especially at Torbrand is out. Yeah. But again, like, I think Embercleave gets a lot worse if you don't have as much haste creatures. And this deck specifically does not have a ton of haste. So that's kind of the one issue I have with trying to play Embercleave in this deck. But, I mean, it is good with Emissary. So, maybe if you, like, play Torbrand or uh, Annex over Chainwheeler or something, but... Probably would not want to do that. Alright, they have four cards in hand. Pretty sure this is deterministic, but I don't know. Had better MTG days, but that's what I get for playing Modern. <laughs> Somebody in chat asked me. Uh, it was actually the last reset we had, and uh, they asked me if I if I had played Four Color yet. Uh, no. My answer to that question was no. Mm, dark petition, pour over the pages, omniscience. Do I give them petition pour and hope they don't? Kind of scoop. Oh, I, 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 it doesn't matter. I can't play this. I meant to put the omniscience back, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to waste your time. <clears throat> Don't think there was any way out for me anyways. I think my only hope was to... This hand's not bad, I think. My only hope was to... Was to give them, um... Give them petition plus pour and hope they just couldn't generate enough mana, I guess? No, if I give them Petition Poor, maybe I give them Omniscience Poor. That also seems bad, though. Like, there's just no... There's there's no good outcome there, to be honest. Alright, they're on six, at least. Petition Poor is nine mana. Yeah. Yeah, there's just, like, there's no good way around it. I give them Petition with nine mana. Uh, I'm just dead. Rather just pack it in. Ignis combo gets hit by Damping Sphere. That is true. It's definitely a downside. <clears throat> yeah, Omni plus Boar hope they brick. When they had five cards, plus they're drawing three. <clears throat> Not terribly likely. Hmm. Go Emissary Fanatic. 
Is there any way that I can present lethal next turn? If I go Emissary Fanatic, it's what, 5 damage? They go to 15, they take 1 from Wily, they go to 14. And I have Fanatic, Emissary, Wily, and they're at 14. Am I 1 damage short? I think I'm 1 damage short of killing them next turn. That's so gross, right? Because land, Emissary, Fanatic, 15, attack, 14. Oh, I guess the other issue is I don't have land four rolled up guaranteed, huh? Right, because I have to sack the treasure. What if I go Emissary Chandra, add Emissary Chandra, add Mana Play Wily Goblin? Is that good? <clears throat> Got top eight with Green Devotion, died to my friend on Red White Hero, killed me before my third turn with 19 trip. Yeah, that matchup is really bad for Green. The rest in the top eight, though. It's <sighs> a tough turn. It doesn't look like it should be a tough turn, but I'm trying to, like, figure out how to make the game last as short as... shorten the game as much as possible, basically. Hmm. Burning Tree... I could go Burning Tree, Chandra, Wily Goblin, maybe? It's not bad. Burning Tree, Wily, Chandra, got Burning Tree, Chandra, Wily Goblin. I don't hate that. Let's do that. Yeah, I think I like that line, too. I like this line. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. This doesn't give you the option of playing both fanatics, though, unless I just peel Nykthos. They're dead if I draw Nykthos, right? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, they're dead if I draw Nykthos. Honestly, I think, <clears throat> I think regardless of what line I take, the only way I can kill them is if I draw Nykthos, right? Because if I take the other line of Burning Tree Fanatic, I lose the treasure, and I don't get to put the Chandra in play, which doesn't, which means that I, I don't have land 4 guaranteed. And if I draw a land that's not Nykthos, then I can't kill them, right? Because I just go land 2nd Fanatic, but I put them to 1. So. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about going back to playing Monogreen for the next RCQ. I like Rakdos, I like Rakdos sack a lot, but I don't know. It's just like... The metagames in these in these RCQs feel re for some reason feel really soft to monogreen. I don't know, man. It's weird, which like doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, there's just not a lot of heroic. There's not a lot of spirits. There's a lot of Rakdos mid range, which is a buy for monogreen. There's Lotus Field, which is I, there's like a couple Lotus Field decks, but I don't know. It just feels like the metagame is good for monogreen, which is so weird. But I really wish I could kill that thing. Or 18. <clears throat> I kind of want to exile a card with Chandra. Makes sense. Oh, uh, man. I have a feeling I'm going to die next turn. I don't know there's much I can do about that. I can attack with everything and hope they block Emissary. I think that's fine. The only problem with this line is I lose damage if they block a Goblin. Yeah. Uh, two, four, six, seven. I mean, it's still lethal next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... Uh... I guess I should exile a card in case I hit something that kills this. Sure. Alright, please don't kill me. Your turn. Please don't kill me. Alright, I get to talk to chat for the next five minutes while my opponent tries to kill me. Although, they're probably gonna kill me now. For some reason, everyone thinks nobody has gutsy enough to play Monogreen in the field where it's being hated on. Yeah, exactly. It's just like kind of this reverse psychology kind of thing. Yeah, both of the Pioneer RCQs that I played, it felt like really good metagames for Monogreen. And it's just like, it, it's felt like an uphill battle for Sac, even though I think Sac is a good deck. It just feels like the metagame is maybe a little bit more hostile towards it. So. <clears throat> I agree. There's not really a card that you can play in your sideboard that just single handedly beats Monogreen. Like, you have Rest in Peace that beats Grease Fang. You have, like, uh, I guess there's not, I don't know. Maybe there's not a card like that for every archetype, but you know what I mean? There's, like, there's there's decks that are much easier to hate out for sure. And he got to dick those promos before than ban it. Yeah. Five head. Take this out. Languish. Good God. They're eight. Uh, well... <coughs> Can't play Synthesizer. Because I wanted to try and find Alpine Moon. Uh, 
All right, mana. Play Fnatic. Your turn. Please don't kill me. I feel like they're probably not going to kill me. <clears throat> they're just being cat and call it a day. So we've talked about this a lot on the channel. I think if you want to hit Modern Green, I think the based ban is simply just ban Karn. Now, a lot of people think that might, maybe that maybe thinks that that's a hot take. Um, because banning Karn does kind of mitigate a lot of other strategies and decks, um, but it does a couple of good things for the format. So basically, it stops it stops Mono Green from having access to the infinite combo. It stops them from having access to all of these potential sideboard cards game one for no reason. Also, it makes Grease Fang a lot more playable. There's like a subset of decks that, as long as Karn is in the format, are like really hard to justify playing with card as, pl as, as played as it is. So, like, I don't know. I think banning Karn does a lot for the format, but I don't think they're ever going to do it, but... <laughs> no, Eidolon is big Sag. <laughs> yeah, playing <clears throat> Pioneer All-Star Ember Hauler instead of Eidolon. I don't know why I'm doing that, but... They put a card on top of their library. Am I somehow dead? Played their land for the turn. They can go Hidden Strings, make four mana... How on earth am I dying here? Yeah, they just conceded. Okay, it's like, there's no way I can die here, right? Okay. Yorion, the Sky Nomad. It's fucking Ember Haulers, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's another reason I, I kind of dislike Karn. It's just because it there's, like, a subset of decks like Grease Fang and, and Soul Artifact that are just, like... When Karn is a big part of the metagame, it's really hard to justify playing those decks. You know, because you're like, well, if my opponent ever plays a Karn, I can't possibly win. So it's, I don't know, it's tough. Is banning Karn the same thing as restrictive thing out of Shop's Pets Workshop? <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe, but... Let's draw the deck, by the way. Uh, I kind of want to go Emissary Hauler to play around Sensor. I think I like this play. <coughs> Not going to psych the hauler, obviously, but... Chini. Red-Black sack versus Red-Black mid. Dude, I don't understand. Like, I keep losing to Red-Black mid with Red-Black sack, and I can't figure out why. Because if you look at the decks on paper, it should be comically easy for Recto sack. But, like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm just, I'm losing. I feel, I feel like I see myself losing to it, and I really don't understand why. But. Rakdos is also unwinnable for Heroic. Yeah, Rakdos can't lose to Heroic. I mean, yeah, the, the games that I lose definitely most, most of the time involve Kalidus, but. All right, well, we can't possibly beat this matchup, so. <laughs> Anything good in my sideboard? I kind of just want to scoop match. <laughs> like I said, Alpo Siege. We're just I'm just gonna move on to the next match. <laughs> we can't beat that deck. It's fine. <laughs> oh man. I'm I'm just gonna move on, you know. I'm cool with that. I'm all set. Also, I'm fairly certain that player plays a little bit slow, and I, I ain't nobody got time for that. Gigantha? Eh, all right, I'm with it. Make it feel like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -mm -mm. Prowess Gamer? I think they're playing Rock Dust Sack. Oh, never mind. Prowess Gamer. Huh. Well, could Burning Tree Mortars, but I don't think I want to do that. So let's just play Mortars, I guess. I don't want to turn on their Shredder, so. I love an 01 loss that I've made it respects his time. Yeah. If you've ever watched this stream before, you know I respect my time. That's one thing that you know I'm good for. All right, they have Cruise in their hand because they were F8 last turn. <laughs> yeah, they have Cruise. Ooh, okay. So we go Emissary, Emissary, Goblin. Hope to peel Nykthos. Mod check Nykthos, hello. Any Nykthosers in chat? Mod check, Nykthos? <clears throat> I mean, any land is... Let's, let's be against Gordonbringer, which is not too bad, but... I would accept any land. I mean, I'd prefer a, a Nykthos, but I'd accept any land. Can I play both of these if I draw Nykthos? 
six, seven, eight. No, I'm short. No attacks. Wow. Ooh, instead of glory, instead of Nykthos, I drew Ember Hauler. Excellent. Uh, is it worth sacking treasure to play Torbrand? Kind of dicey if they have Reckless Rage. But I feel like if they had Reckless Rage, they might have attacked with Swiss Beard last turn. <clears throat> right? I could just Ember Hauler pass, try to kill the... Pre I could just go Ember Hauler, kill the Pyromancer. What if I just did that? Just go Hauler, kill Pyromancer, not commit to the treasure token? I actually don't hate that play. I think I like that. Because that also means if they have a removal spell, they might they might be like incentivized to fire it here. So let's imagine for a second they have the Reckless Rage. They might want to just use it here to get the token. Uh, I still think I'm a little cowardice to not attack here, but... <clears throat> a friend has been on Esper and has only top eight three rescues in a row with it. He's three steps made with two angler and shredder's backup plan. Why is Abzan so much more successful? So I think the biggest reason to play Abzan is not is not necessarily for the um, the early drop cards. I think the biggest reason to play Abzan oh they didn't have a thing is um, Chariot. I think Chariot's the biggest reason to play Abzan because Chariot's the best plan B. There's just, like, there's not a better plan B. Because Chariot beats everything. It beats, I guess it doesn't beat Karn, but it beats the, it beats all the graveyard hate. And it's just, like, it helps you stabilize so easily. But, yeah, Chariot's so good. Well, I don't see a lot of the, the a lot of the Abzan versions I haven't seen play Traverse. Like, the version that we played the other night. Let's see if I can find it. We went 4-1 with this version. We felt pretty good. It's just all four ofs. Uh, Informant, Supplier, Thoughtseize... Can't stay away is another good one, but I guess you could play this in Esper if you wanted to. They Reckless Rage the Glorybringer. Why would they do that main phase? It's not untapping. Okay. Why are they doing all this, like, all this stuff is instants. They're also throwing away a 1-1? One -one? I, I don't understand what's happening. Get actor? When the actor is paid. When the actor is paid. <clears throat> What's up, that guy? If 104.38 didn't exist, it's funny you mentioned that because I unironically have watched a couple like competitive Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, and I've been told that you're not actually allowed to concede in Yu-Gi-Oh. So uh, yeah, that would never happen. I wouldn't play Magic if you weren't allowed to scoop. <laughs> I would I would not play. If I had to play every game to its natural conclusion, I would I would just choose to not play. Deadass. Deuces. Beam me up. Alright, Missy and Mortars probably want Anchor. I don't even know. It's probably good. Playland's kinda medium, I think. Don't want Siege. Maybe I want Siege and just kinda like morph. You know what card's pretty bad in matchups like this? Traditionally, it's Fnatic. I like this stuff, like this stuff. All this looks good. Yeah, maybe like one Siege is probably fine. <coughs> when people play Commander and they say you can only concede at Sorcery Speed, but I used Furious Plus 1, can I concede at Instant Speed? You can concede whenever the fuck you want. How's that? <laughs> Giga Chad. Not conceding against Lancer Control is just dumb. All right. Uh, I guess they want the F6 value. They love the F6 value. I'm I'm a big fan of the F6 value, so I get it. That'd be exploitable if you couldn't. Yeah, yeah. They definitely couldn't put that rule in place. You like you have to be able to concede whenever you want to. And having mortars here kind of sucks, but also I don't have a third land. Maybe this deck should play like 25 or 26 lands. Be me up. Scooping you go be able to place your palm on top of your deck and say I can see it in an anime voice. <laughs> Based. Oh my god, just please give me a land. Please, please give me a land. <laughs> god. Alright, I will attack. The worst part is they're gonna play two spells next turn, and my anger's gonna do stone cold nothing. I can't wait until they play two spells next turn. Or just play a third shredder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fading hope, dog. Don't look down. No 
don't draw land, I will concede. It'll kill your upper hauler. True. Mm, Soul Scar Mage. They definitely have Cruise in hand. They discarded a Cruise, so pretty obvious. I don't even think land's good enough at this point. Uh, all right, I guess. I mean, they're just gonna cast Cruise, and I can't win anyways. Yeah, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. You win. Get three. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Speed magic. Speaking of mono red is Ashsel. Yeah, Ashsel's in this format. Is it Theros? Orders, Chain Whirler, Glorybringer. I guess. It's on the low end of hands I would consider keeping, but I don't know. Turn two removal spell, turn three creature. Hopefully we find something to bridge the gap. <laughs> Well, if they play play with fire on turn one, then maybe that makes the sand a little bit worse. They love just firing their shit off. I respect it. Uh, you know, I do respect it. They don't have a land? What are you doing? What are you doing? Probably supposed to play mortars there so they can't reckless rage me, but... Better than rage this than the glory bringer, I think is my thought process. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I haven't drawn a spell yet, by the way. Have not drawn a spell yet. <laughs> I haven't drawn a spell, my opponent hasn't drawn a land. Okay, I drew a spell, now I can't complain. They have red cap melee? They might. No, no melee. All right, we win. One land does tend to beat all the lands. Not when they're still on one land and I have a glory. I'm going to keep this hand. <laughs> it's probably a little loose because we have four drop double glory bringer, but eh, I got a shock. It'll be fine. Hmm. <clears throat> Fabled passage for forest. Doubt shock is going to be good against this opponent. Oh, never mind. Ah, can't kill that. Shite. Want to check Goblin Chain Whirler? Hello? Come on, tap it for mana. All right, what do we got? Tonight Dough, Half Baked, Creme Brulee, Half Baked, Salted Caramel, Doom Seems Like an American Dream Guy, Live in the South at Public so I get their brand, Cookie Dough, Half Baked. All right, somebody in chat said it. My favorite is American Dream. Do I kill the Tracker or the Druid? I think I kill the tracker because then I can rip Chain Whirler. Yeah. Chain Whirler. <laughs> God damn it, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. America and Dream is so good. I fucking love that shit. It's so good. Yeah, three. Oh my god. Just give me a fucking Chain Whirler. <laughs> chain Whirler. Uh, that's. Actually, not bad. I accept that one. I'll take that one. Would like to have a land that's not a Nykthos, but, you know. Let me find... I think a close second is probably Half-Baked. Half-Baked is a classic, but I love me some America and Dream. One that they... Uh, another one that I've had just recently, I think it's like a relatively new one, is uh, Gimme S'mores. That one's really good. Uh, I'm at 12, huh? I guess I should probably glory bring her one of these. I was thinking about not exerting, but that's probably kind of loose. Yeah, it's probably kind of loose to not exert. Yeah, the Gibby S'mores. Gibby S'mores is really good. <clears throat> main deck curse. I've seen some. I've seen some main deck curses. Not the first time I've seen it, but murderous rider. Go to 10, they go to 16. Second glory banger, maybe. Um two. But also go Ember Hauler plus Torbran. I mean, if I glory banger and they have another murderous rider, maybe it gets kind of dicey. So they attack me for seven. Could go hauler, make four mana, second Nykthos up to six mortars, not play Torbran this turn. Boros Roker, Mata Red Burn, Embercleave for RCQ. Probably heroic, but... Hmm. Kind of a tough turn. 
Yeah, I mean, I could go holler, make four, play second Nykthos Mortars. Kind of sets me up a little bit worse for next turn, though. What if I just go holler Torbran? And then if they have Murderous Rider for Torbran, I could just trade for Druid and take five, and then next turn Mortars them. I think I just like that better. I think I like that better. Is America and Dream different from going together? I, I don't know what going together is. I don't think I've ever had that one. I uh, got a little bit punished there. Could have played the Nykthos first, but I didn't really want to spew away the Nykthos just to activate the Emperor Hauler. I guess now they can fire up the Hearse. They can go tap this, crew the Hearse, fire up this, attack for seven. I go to three, four, five. But I think I have lethal if they do that, right? Crew, attack, leave back this, then I just go Glory Banger, exert to kill you. Yes, yeah, so they gotta be a little bit careful of that. Let's see what Cone Together is. I don't think I've seen that one before. Cone Together. Is it Ben and Jerry's? It is. Cone Together. <clears throat> Can I find it? Cone Together. Right now. Vanilla with chocolatey coated waffle cone pieces and salted caramel swirl. It's probably pretty close to the, the same thing. Okay, so I just eat this thing for free? Why did they do this? Why did they give me the rider for free? I don't understand why they would do that. I mean, they were dead anyways, but like... I don't know why they gave me the rider for free. This is lethal, right? 4, 8, 10, 16? Okay, why am I doing this now? Yeah, this is just lethal. Attack. Okay. <laughs> like, wait, what am I doing? I'm just gonna kill you. I guess they thought that they had to attack with the murderous rider because I just exerted if they if they don't, so it's the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that does make sense. Because if they if they don't attack, then they just lose it for free anyways, but they don't gain the two life. So yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, that just makes sense. Torbrand's nice, huh? Stephen Colbert's American Dream is called Oconida. Is it really? Oh my god. Get salty over American made products and it's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh classic Canada. Alright, so they're playing black green cards. Let's bring in Siege. I kind of maybe want these ley lines. They have a lot of removal, but I think there's a mostly here for Phoenix. Uh Mortar seems cracked. In general, you want to cut Fnatic against the heavier interactive decks, so Fnatic is bad. Uh, I kind of like keeping in Surge, because they have Tireless Tracker. Good for Ossadon. I definitely want to keep Chain Lurks, they have Paradise Druid. Uh, yeah, I'll just run this. Let's just run this. <clears throat> Mortars, Mortars, Emissary, huh? Yeah, fuck it, I'm in. Yeah, for Ossadon plus Torbrand is nice. Fotsy! Probably take the emissary, I guess. I feel like this this version needs a little bit more planeswalkers. There's only three planeswalkers in my deck. It's like not quite enough. There's only one Chandra Torture Defiance. Like how is how is that real? I think I'm not gonna play the emissary. It's pretty likely they have abrupt decay. I just don't want them to use their mana. <clears throat> Could always just play it next turn. If I even want to. Yeah, I guess I'm missing out on damage now. Ah, I maybe I should have played this last turn. <laughs> maybe overthought it a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Idolon plus Torbrand's kind of hot too. Traverse the Ulvenwald. Probably have Kalidus in their hand, but they can't play it. That's fine. I got lands to discard to that fucker. I'd love to draw, not that. Uh, okay, so let's go Mortars, Discard, Ruins. Oh, I should have played the Emissary first. I'm a dumbass. I could just hold the Emissary. Should have played the first, though. I mean, if they have a Sweeper, it's like not the worst to hold it, but... We have another Trespasser. Tireless Tracker. All right, I need to respond to the clue so they can't make it a three toughness creature. Okay. 
Attack for two, play Emissary, play Hauler, leave up a mana. Oh, Spring's not the best. It... I kind of got pretty punished for not playing the Emissary on Curve, huh? I thought I wanted to hold it because I thought it was pretty obvious they had an Abrupt Decay, but I guess they just never had it, huh? Yep. And now, even if they have Trespasser... Meh. All right, we need to draw Chandra, which we only have not that many copies of. I think I'm actually going to hold on to that one for now. A chance I want to discard it if they have another Trespasser. And that's another reason why I didn't want to bring in the Ley Lines, is because of the Sweepers. Your turn. Paradise Druid. Chain Roller? Mod check. Heck, wait. Don't they know I have busy Mortars? Oh, they have Kalidus and they're trying to bait me to use the Mortars. Uh, well... I guess I just won't cast it then. You can go. I mean, they know I have it, so... They're clearly trying to bait me. No blocks. I'm good with that. They could have the Murderous Rider. I don't really think this is going to get any better for us, though. So I think it's fine. This might get them to commit. Oh, wow, they just don't have it. Why did they run this out, then? All right, kill this. I'm so confused as to why they ran out the rider if they didn't have a second one. Again, I guess they were trying to bait the mortars, but, like... Okay, sure. It's so strange. They played this game so weird. That's... Actually, not bad. Should probably tap this, but... Some pressure. Take four to draw a card? Hello? Alright, go. <laughs> Possibly should have killed the druid while they were tapped out, but if they just, like, play a creature... Problem is, if I cast... The oh, yeah. If I cast the mortars, then they just don't do anything, right? So, now I can overload the mortars to put them to three, and makes it to the- well, they can't activate this anyways, but... I actually think it's good to overload the mortars here. <laughs> I think it's good. Because I still have this to kill Kalidus. You ever paid six mana to kill a two-drop? <laughs> six mana to kill a two-drop? Imagine if I didn't miss the two damage by not playing the Emissary on curve, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Risk on Smirk doesn't want to need it. Yeah, we got the Ruins. Oh, well, that should be game. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's your life total opponent? Questing Beast? Yeah, that's not going to cut it. That one is not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. Ah! All right, you're dead. I'm going to sacrifice my other Raminat Bruins. Okay, your matchup better, but... I don't know. I played Teamer in the RCQ. It felt pretty good, so I'll probably just run back Teamer in my next RCQ. And I get the uh, the Questing Beast Randomizer. Exclamation point Questing Beast. It's a classic. I got flanking. Protection. There was one... Uh, there was one... It was so weird. It was like... Protection from Forest or something? I don't even remember. There's some fucking weird ones in there. That website is so good. Gambling? Too late, I already started. We'll do some gambling tomorrow. No gambling tonight. I promise there will be there will be gambling tomorrow. Opponents said they're a fan of the stream, so they're probably playing Rakdos Sack. I don't know if this matchup's good or not. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's cool they can't take my play next turn, but... Wait, Sack doesn't usually play Thoughtseize main deck. Hmm. They wouldn't be playing Gigantha in mid-range, though, right? Because they would lose Chandra and Kalidus. So I don't know. <clears throat> Grixis. Grixis. All right. I'm with it. Grixis. You have many points because of betting on Doom. Yeah, you, you bet smartly, you know? It's so awkward for them, too, because, like, they don't want to kill this because they don't have a second one. Corpse Appraiser. Okay, they get to 
look at the top three. I think I'll probably offer the trade. I'll just pre-combat the fanatic attack with both. They're just, they're taking so much damage. Okay, now it's kind of embarrassing, but, you know. They're at seven, so they trade and go to three. They're so dead. They are so dead. Drew, drew back-to-back -to -back is probably not going to matter. <laughs> I guess if they play Kalidus this turn, they trade and then go to two, right? Okay, that doesn't do it. I guess they can kill Fnatic and Chump Block. So they can't trigger Push right now. Oh yeah, they can't have Kalidus, right? Because they have Chikanta. Yeah. Alright, so Chump Block. <laughs> Ironically, does not kill them, because Ramidap Ruins is not a red source. <laughs> not a red source. Hilarious. Language is not a card. Yeah, you know it's not. So, triple Torbran? I mean, they have to kill it, right? They can't not kill it. I think I'm going to sack the Ruins EOT, because it makes another Ruins lethal. It's obviously awkward if I draw a Glorybringer, but if they, like, kill the Torbran that I sack this and I draw a Glorybringer, I can still just play this, and it, that's fine. It doesn't kill them immediately, but I'm still probably going to win this game. I guess now they could chump block and push, maybe? Which would be awkward, because then I can't play the second Torbrand until end of turn. So maybe that was a reason to not sack the Ruins there. Uh, I should play this pre-combat, though, right? Eh, if they have push, they can just do this anyways, but I'm trying to think if I have any of their haste creatures I could hit. I mean, I could just sack this and make it 2-2, right? Oh, Pog. <laughs> Dex. <laughs> I mean, again, not lethal until the next turn, but it's fine. All right, damage. Uh, this is the only main phase, right? Okay, I'll just do this now. Yep. Oh, I shouldn't have six. Uh, I can't think they got one anyways. They push this, still have a lethal creature, plus I have the ruins. They just can't beat the ruins, so. <clears throat> I mean, I guess they can have Field of Ruin, but it's kind of sussy to play Field of Ruin in the Corpse Appraiser deck. Chain Ruler, and I dare say an Ember Hauler will lethal on the spot as well. Yeah, <laughs> and I dare say it, Ember Hauler. Ember Hauler confirmed lethal. This has to be a Leyland and Combustion matchup, right? Let's try it. I feel pretty bad if I didn't bring in the Leylands at least once this league. I kind of want Mortis for Kalidus, though. This card's bad. Uh, I think Surge is bad. So, the only way that Surge can kill Kalidus is if I also have Synthesizer. And that just seems kind of nonsensical when I have Mortars plus Chandra plus Glorybringer. So I think this is a good setup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep I keep talking about Kalidus, but they obviously can't have Kalidus. I'm dumb. I'm sorry, chat. I'm just so used to Rakdos, you know, mid-range X decks having Kalidus. But yeah, that's even more of a reason to got the Surge, right? I guess that's a reason to not play Mortars, but they had Corpse Appraiser? What other creatures do you think they have? Probably Nickel Bull is the creature, maybe. Yeah, they could also still have Kalidus on the side, too. You have Lilico. Okay. So I guess it's probably fine to keep the Mortars. I could play Ferocidon instead, though. Pyo All-Star gifted Aetherborn. No, they're playing they're playing Giganta. They can't have Aetherborn. I mean, again, they can have a sideboard, but... Alright, I just want to open up Leyline. Leyline has to be nuts against this deck. <laughs> they have, like, all removal plus thought seizes. <laughs> gifted Aetherborn is baby Kalidus. <laughs> What if Kalidus is Papa Aetherborn? This is like a chicken-egg thing, right? We're getting into this argument now. Well, I have three lands. Although, if they thought these, I might only have two lands. I'm still going to keep. Sounds good. I'd prefer to not get a land thought seized, but... Oh, yeah, good point. They didn't reveal Gigantha, so probably Kalidus, which, again, we're very prepared for, because we have Mortis Chandra, so... Like, I'm totally fine if they want to bring in Kalidus. Croxa. I think I discard the... I kind of want to discard the Burning Tree Emissary. Wait, what's the text on Corpse Appraiser? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It only works if you hit a creature, right? Okay, so I probably shouldn't discard a creature then. I could just discard Smashing. Be fine. It's kind of risky if I discard Smashing, though. Except was Mortars in? RTR. 
I think it's either Smashing or Mortars. I don't want to turn on Corpse Appraiser. I'm just going to discard Smashing. I think it's fine. It's a little greedy, but... Dilt. Dilt. Yo. <clears throat> I mean, they can always Corpse Appraiser their Croaks up, but I'm cool with that if they want to do that, so... Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Hmm. Well, if I mortars the goblin token and they have Kalidus, I can just go Chandra minus. So I'm not that I'm I'm not that unhappy with that line. So I just want to. I don't want them to get mana. Is why I want to make this play. And like, even if they thought sees me, I don't care. I just have two busted four drops. If they thought sees me, if they thought sees me, they probably have to take the outpost siege, right? Because at least they can kill the Chandra. They can't really kill this. But yeah, if they play Kalidus, we're in a good spot. If they only have one Thoughtseize, we're in a good spot. Second Fable, huh? But no land. Okay, now I'm just going to go Chandra Minus. Yeah. Yeah, Chandra Minus, because they didn't play a land. Which means, I guess they can flip this Fable, and maybe that's scary. But if they have nothing else, I think that's fine. They still can't really trigger Corpse Appraiser unless they want to exile Kroxa. And now if I draw a 2-drop, I can go, like, make mana, play 2-drop, play Siege. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. They pitched two lands to Fable last turn. <laughs> they did? I didn't even notice that. Whoops. Awkward. I mean, I guess they just assumed they were going to draw land, but... It's kind of a Chad move. Having two outpost Sieges against Nazis is, uh... Kind of a feels bad for them. I was gonna say we're a little bit weaker to Kalidus now, but they don't really have lands. So they can't play Kalidus this turn. Because they use the Chandra minus already. I mean, if they go like take a siege, kill Chandra, maybe that gets dicey because they get to keep this in play, but I've gifted a cast landline. What if they take it? <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. I probably would have took you up on that too. <clears throat> At least somebody else got, got the Prime sub. G.I. Starburst. Thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate you, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. I will offer the trade. Would you like to take the trade? Or cast Fatal Push. Okay. I would like to cast the Outpost Siege card. Uh, it's been a while since I played this card. Cons, right? It's the good one. Yeah, cons. Veins all tangled close. We have a second fable. Need to find a removal spell. This is bad there on topping with double fable. I mean, what do you want me to do? I can't do anything about that. At least Siege gives me a second crack at a removal spell, right? You got two looks to find a, a busy mortars. <laughs> Brickman, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate you, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. <sighs> I did forget about the crooks, uh... Yeah, let's just settle this in Game 3. I think we can beat Grixis Binder in Game 3. I think it'll be fine. So, Fable, huh? I Maybe mean, that means I want Voltage Surge. I don't know what's bad against them, though. Chain Whirler, maybe? I think the Leylands are cap. I could do Surge over Leyline. It just, like, it feels kind of bad to use... It feels kind of bad to use, um like, Chandra activations on Fable Tokens. That's why I don't mind having Surge, but... I don't know, it seems kind of... Ah, I don't know, we'll just run it back, it's fine. What's up, Giglia? I'm horrifically bad at remembering to resub every month. Eh, you're fine, you're good. I forgive you, Brickman. Mm -mm. Isn't Kiki legendary? Uh, no, the back half of Kiki is not legendary. Seems fine. Mm -mm. Fable's a strong card. I never thought about putting it in this list. I mean, with the devotion stuff, it's like might be it might be worth considering for sure. It's just it's kind of awkward with with your Nykthos draws because it doesn't put a ton of devotion into play. Uh, Chandra make mana, make mana. Make mana. Your turn. Now they dread more Chandra. We play more and we play Siege. 
Okay. Um, and I really just want to slam this fucking Alpo Siege. I could exile a card with Chandra. Try to find a removal spell for this, and if not, just play... Or if I found a 2-drop, I could go like 2-drop plus Mortars, maybe. And then if I Brick, probably just play Siege. I can give him one turn with this, right? Like, I think it's fine. I'm just gonna go... Exile the card. Alright, I Bricked. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna Slam Siege. Uh, cons, right? Cons. Row Seed. Yes, I am doing energy coverage this weekend. I'm excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. <clears throat> and I found, I, I picked the weekend that only had one RCQ, so I'm not giving up playing two RCQs, which is kind of cool. And I get the first shift on both Saturday and Sunday. So I get to do the first four rounds on Saturday, and then all of top eight on Sunday, which is kind of cool. Coming first, and it, it's a little too far. As, at least for driving purposes, it's a little too far. Ooh, I can overload mortars now, Pog. Can I go Torbrand, Chain Whirler? I can, but it's awkward if they have push. Wait, I don't have enough mana to Torbrand, Chain Whirler, right? I mean, I should probably just save the borders anyways. Chandra mana. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only count six. Are you getting the seventh mana? By Torbrand. Uh, still short, right? I could play Chain Whirler first, but that doesn't accomplish anything. I can go Chain Wheeler into Torbrand, but that doesn't do anything. It's modern and legacy. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just go Chain Wheeler plus Torbrand, have two blockers, and make them overextend into the mortars, right? And then I just dumpster them with the mortars next turn. They like, eh. Probably get to kill Chandra if they do that, though. I mean, what if I just overload the mortars? Is that bad? I guess they have this to potentially attack Chandra. They get to flip this. Hmm... I don't know. Tough turn. Very, very tough turn. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, three, four, five, six. Play this. Oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Whirler into Overload. I think I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just going to go make mana. I'm just going to play my cards and not play the Mortars. I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, I should have played my land First, though, because now they can push this with the trigger on the stack. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. Fuck. Still think we're fine, but yeah, I should have obviously played my lane first. That was really dumb. Now they get to kill Chandra. Fuck. Yeah, if I just played my lane first, that would have been fine. Surely we can't lose the Grixis with the fucking Alpo Siege in play, though, right? Surely. Surely. It does, but I can't... <sighs> Come on, man. I can't play the Torbrand, then the Chain World. I only have six mana. And if I, if I play the Torbrand first, then I can't activate the Nykthos for enough mana. Nice draw step, buddy. Then we lose Chandra. Okay. Unironically, like, actually kind of in a bad spot now. Yeah. Okay. Combat. Okay, I have to kill the reflection. They just have infinite fucking mana now, but... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Three fables better than one outpost each. That's that's how math works, yeah. Check so. We're at 11, but I don't have a lot of burn left on my deck because I cut the fanatics. I like making them overextend the borders next turn, which is what I did, but they just drew the Thoughtseize. They would have lost this game if they didn't draw the Thoughtseize, but they drew it, so. Like, I basically took the line that did exactly that if they just didn't draw Thoughtseize. So the only reason they're in this game is because they drew Thoughtseize. Nickel Bolus the Ravager. <laughs> it's a good song. I don't know how the fuck I lost this game. <laughs> this is this one's a tilter. Grixis Trade Binder. It's a good trade binder. I'll give him that. Oh, never mind, we win. <laughs> Get fucked. 
uh, play this. Red. Overload. I guess they could have, like, Aether Gust. They really have Aether Gust? <sighs> All right, fine, you win. <laughs> God damn it, man. Ah! I feel like that should have been an easy matchup, but... All right, three and two. Uh, I don't know, not too much to say about this deck. Let's open our chest. I feel like you probably want more Chandra's. There's not enough Planeswalkers in this deck. Also, not 100% sure if you want to play Ember Hauler or a different kind of two-drop like Eidolon or potentially Astellan. I would assume Eidolon's better, but... Yeah, I think, like, maybe one less Torbrand, one more Chandra... Maybe too many Glorybringers, maybe third one of these or something. Also kind of want more mortars in the main deck. Like, I just don't like this stuff. This package is kind of weird to me, but maybe worth working on. Deck, deck felt like there was something there, but... Turn it back. Nah, I'm out. Almost five hours. I gotta go get some sleep. Chat, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for all of the support, as always. Hope to see you guys tomorrow, same time. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and let's find somebody to raid.